but I know I'm already in too deep, but I'm so drawn to him, but I'm trying to keep this pussycat in check. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to choose here? I have them all. Well. Well. Okay, so let Where me just clarify this. Okay, okay, there's the chick that wrote the letter. It's cool. She got a girlfriend, right? Her friend. They friends. Exactly. And the friend has a baby daddy, and she got a sister. And homegirl sleeping with both of them? Yes. So are they yeah. doing threesomes, or is she just sleeping with both? I think well, it's no, separate. no, it's separate because she yeah. said that the sister's loyalty is to her, mm -hmm. and she's trying to figure out why she can't have both, so she can't be having threesomes. Yeah, they're what? separate, completely separate. Jesus, I don't. I've never been in a situation such as such, so I don't really know how to even give advice on such a thing. But if I'm firm in what I believe and I stand up in it, standing up in it would be me self telling you that I just really don't believe that people shouldn't do what they don't want to do. I agree too. So if you don't want to fucking do it, don't do it. Um, if you want to do it, do it. Or try yeah. your best to do it. Whatever, I'm all about people being happy, but if it's, I don't really know. I don't even know what the friend got to do with anything. For me, I think whatever it is that she is feeling the most, obviously she's feeling a better vibe in one area than the other. She said, why can't she have both? She's feeling great vibes in both areas. I think she likes she the wants... girl more though, huh? Because she said the guy's too clingy. Or what do you think? I don't know. It seems like she's kind of more into the girl, and theirs might be a little more casual, a little more of what she's looking for. I don't feel like I have enough information. Next. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you got the next one. You got it. I just read it. Give it to me on your phone. She's got mine. Oh. I don't know if someone has your phone, but I don't have your phone. I sent you the screenshot of both of them. You're right. Thank you. There you go, child. So. Gotta ask. Layers to the layers room. It reads. My family is going through a rough time right now. My sister is currently battling for the right to keep her child. I don't want my sister to lose himself. I was sleeping with my husband for the last year, and he just made me other. If I take my niece in, I don't want my sister involved in her life. Am I wrong? And should I be worried about my sister and niece slash stepdaughter since my husband has been having me with my sister? So they see each other's spouses? No, 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 no. She's got a sister who's in trouble with the CPS. She don't want the baby to go into foster care. But she just found out, to all of the sister getting in trouble, that the sister been sleeping with her husband. And her niece just might be her stepdaughter. Or it might be her husband's baby. Right. Wow. So, the question remains, she, don't, she wants to know, is she wrong? Because, because she, she wouldn't want the sister... She wouldn't want the sisters involved. Now, I need to know why you don't want the sister involved before I can tell you whether or not you're wrong, besides the fact of she slept with your husband to make the child. Yeah, I mean, well, why is CPS involved? Yeah. That's the question. I'm guessing the reason why CPS is called or involved it would be the main reason why she don't want the sister involved. Um, I... You need to be mad at both of their ass. You need to divorce him and see about getting your niece. Because at the end of the day, that's still your niece because that's your sister's child. So if you love the child that much, then my suggestion would be, you know, do what you have to do for the well-being of the child. But, you know, that's very get scary. rid of him and pray about her. Because right, pray about that. that's your blood. So I can't say just write her off, but slap that bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. No. No. Don't slap her. Why not? She was sleeping with her husband. Oh, we gonna box, bitch. 
You sleep with my to. husband, and then my niece is your child. <laughs> my niece. And that's your sister too. Your niece. How You've been running old? around here talking about your niece, and is she really your daughter? I wonder how old the niece is. It don't matter how old she is. You talking about your niece, and you know good and goddamn well this is your daughter, and you sitting around here fucking my Playing sister. With this little girl. So who does she? Who does the niece think her daddy is? That's the question at hand. You see why I'm whooping everybody ass in this situation? <laughs> Everybody yeah, get the child, protect the child, put the child in the, the um, what do they call that? The room, or what kind of house is it? The safe room, put the child in the safe room and blow them motherfuckers up. Put the child in the safe room? Yeah, so yeah. she don't have to see or hear anything, and then when she come out, I don't know what happened. We're just, we gonna really... We're gonna go for safety. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever That's happens it, with them happens with them right. and we're just gonna pray about it and move on okay. yeah no fuck her and fuck him no really I mean he's I nasty like, as hell <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna cheat most guys cheat but if you're gonna cheat don't have a baby Fuck yeah, having a baby. Yeah. If you're gonna cheat, don't cheat no, no. with the same what? motherfucker that came out of the same coochie as me. <laughs> How about that? Can we start with that? You don't get no Can we start by not cheating with the same I just feel like there one has to be that might have came out of the same particular nut sack or the same vagina as me? Can we just start there? Hmm. Hmm. Is it possible? That's nasty as fuck. That you gonna go sleep with me and then you sleeping with my sister? Did you do it in the same day? Did you do it in the same week? Right. What about the same Did I month? Suck your dick that day? Right. <laughs> I Did I know. suck her coochie juice off your dick? What happened? Is that? <laughs> that's not production. Why? Hey, that's why it's not effective so at all. That's yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's rude as fuck. That's nasty. That's nasty as hell. You lucky as hell that that goddamn child didn't come out with some sort of problem. Some kind of dysfunction and disorder. Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot to deal with. Um, what would you do? If I found out... Hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, if you had a sister and you found out that your sleep sister was sleeping with your husband... I would beat her ass. And then that bitch had a baby. I would beat her And then just somebody came out of his left testicle. I would beat her ass. I would have divorced him. We would, it would have, it would, so what would, would you do, do about either one of them saying child? Because really, our parents... I don't care about the parents. <laughs> Oh, so you don't even want the child either? I'm dusting it all off. Oh my shooters. god. I will see you when I see oh my you. Oh god. And when she's older, maybe I can explain to her why I had to do what was best for me. You know, but you I would not want to be. I would not want to be in her life. Hold on, that's too much. Because you gotta do for you. That's too hurtful. That's, that's too much pain that you have to endure every time. relationship with the child and nine times out of ten I probably would let y'all go to foster care because I don't like kids. So <laughs> if it's a badass so disrespectful child. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if that little bitch was bad then you can just kiss her goodbye because I don't give a fuck about either one of y'all at this point and the child she's disrespectful. And I don't so. have to pretend that both of y'all Yeah both of y'all y'all can continue this and maybe when you get done with your MHMR CPS classes then you can possibly think about working on getting your child back. But until then, good riddance and goodbye. And the both of you can plug Die. each one of your toenails no, off no, one by one and put them in sandals and walk no. down the street with rocks. No, no, they can ride. You said, what did you say? Good riddance and goodbye. I love you it. both can die. Yeah. That's the end Okay, Go so ahead. Then, uh, that's going to conclude. That um, just made me mad. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Um, we don't have any more stories. That's the end of the stories, and that bitch just pissed me off, so. <laughs> Whoever the bitch is that's sleeping with her husband. What were you saying about Trump? What did he do this week? You said something. Somebody texted you something. Nobody texted me anything about Trump. You said something about I Trump. never <laughs> said that. <laughs> <laughs> never said that. Before we signed on to the laser, we were offering. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. I swear to God.
Nobody takes me anything by Trump. I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, my sister. Okay. You're right. I just take that. Oh I take that. She said that Trump is mad because CNN did a story on him and oh, he didn't, he didn't like, like it. it. So that's probably about? why he's boycotting this White House event. This is probably about him grabbing hoopla haws, coochies, <laughs> and um, his foreign ass wife who's the plagiarizer and the child who probably don't even believe that he should be president. Yeah, this child was having, his son was having a whole... His son was having a attack. real misunderstanding with what was happening. <laughs> he did not understand why his old ignorant ass daddy was about to be the president of the United States. He probably seen the worst of his dad. Yeah, he has seen the worst of him. That's why he was looking like he was looking when they announced that his daddy was going to be the president. He didn't understand. Your own <laughs> C don't understand why you're going to be the damn president. It's a problem. But then, didn't they say he was autistic? Is he autistic? I don't know. That's the bullshit. It was some rumors. She tried to say that Allegedly. Like, she tried to say that they were bullying him. They were out of line. Because he's so autistic. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know. That's really bad. Somebody wants to see the story. Are we supposed to be in communication with the people? What happened? Or he resigned or something? I don't know. I don't know. Something happened. Somebody was when I tell you I'm trying my best. To remember. Not to remember. Or to not know. I'm to, to to not know, period. I just want the Lord to guide me through my life as Trump is in office. Because I cannot follow this my own personal my my heart. I can't take him to guide your glory. I want God to just guide me through life, like I said, as Trump is in office. Because I might have an aneurysm if I keep paying attention to what the fuck is going on mm -hmm. in the White House. Mm -hmm. So, once again, you know, I've been through, this is really my first time paying attention to what's going on in the office. Because uh, prior to this, I was in a parent's house. So I really didn't have a very worry about what's happening in the White House. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just trying to make sure that my mom and daddy had their bill money on time. So, there's that. And here we are. I'm grown. And now this is my first chance 